Hi everyone, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm Danielle LaRocca and I'm here to talk to you. So today I'm going to be doing a updated brow routine in 2020. A lot of you requested me to do this on Instagram. So if you wanna see how I do my brows, then go ahead and stay tuned. <music> So my brow routine has changed before. What I was doing is I was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo and I was in the shade Dark Brown. I would use the dark side for like the tails and then I would fill in with the light brown and then I would go over and I would use the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in clear and kind of like brush everything up. Um, but my updated brow routine is I use the Urban Decay Brow Blade and if you have not tried this, you really need to and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Um, it was a little hard to pick shades on the website but this one actually turned out really good so I'm super excited. And then I also use the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel. And I'm gonna show you how I do everything so don't worry. and. I know you probably are noticing I don't have my usual backdrop. I thought I would switch it up and do something a little bit different today and this way I can really get in close and show you guys how I do my brows. Now remember we are still in quarantine and lockdown. I haven't been out to get my brows done so bear with me. <laughs> okay so I brought you in a little closer here. So I'm in the shade Cool Cookie and we're gonna go in with the Urban Decay Brow Blade. And so I use the pencil side first, and what I do is I outline. I go up to the very top of my hairs, and it's such a nice shade, and it really fits my eyebrows perfectly. So I just kind of do light little strokes and fill it in like this. And most pencils I feel like if you press like kind of hard or whatever they just go on way too dark and what's nice about this is it's like for me at least it's the perfect shade. So I was really lucky to find this color. The one that I wanted, they were sold out and this was like the next best shade. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll try this one. And I'm so glad that I did. And <clears throat> I'm really obsessed with this pencil. So once you have your outline and it's like somewhat filled in, Then I go to the other side and kind of do the same thing. Now my brows are not twins, they are sisters, but I try to get them as close as I can to looking the same. And like I said, this, this video was requested on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, please uh, check out my Instagram. I have it linked down below in my description box. I have a lot of stuff on there and I engage quite a bit with everybody and I'm always taking requests and asking for feedback of what you guys want to see. So that is really the best place to connect with me. Okay, so this is kind of filled in. And then I kind of step back and I check and I see if things look even. And I kind of go like fix according but we're not done yet, so if it doesn't look like perfect, don't worry.
this brow has always been the most difficult one. So then next we take the other side. So the other side, it's like a felt tip pen. This is what it looks like. And I kind of shake it up like this. And then I go in again and I kind of will like flick, I guess, or make little line strokes and kind of fill in the sparseness. Now I have kind of light brows as it is. They're not like too curly or hairy. Um, I'm gonna move you a little bit. Okay, they're not too curly or hairy. So I kind of create more hairs, if that makes sense. So we're gonna take it and kind of flick going up and then fill in And then I kind of step back and look. So this one, it looks kind of like more skinny over here. So now I'm gonna go back in with the pencil side. I don't know if I showed you that, but it kind of rolls up. That's what it looks like. And I'm gonna fill in and try to match what the other side looks like as best as I can. And what's nice about the way that I do my brows is that there's always chances to kind of finesse it and make things look a little more defined, so don't worry. And I always do my makeup first and I usually do my eyes last as you can see I have my makeup and stuff already done on my face okay so once you're happy with the way that this looks then we're gonna go into our next step so for our next step, I have been using and loving, by the way, the Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Fiber Brow Gel. Now, when I was using the ColourPop one, I always bought it in the clear translucent shade, um, but I wanted to kind of spice things up and do things a little differently, so I found the shade herb and that seems to really work with what I have going on here so when you open it up this let's see this is what it looks like and then I'm gonna zoom you in again and I'm gonna show you how I do this part okay now you're zoomed in nice and close so I will take it kind of like dab off on the sides a little bit of the excess but I take it and I hold it and then I kind of like twist my fingers and just kind of roll it and I push the hairs going up like this all the way until I get to the arch and then I simply drag it down the tail. Now what's nice about this I feel like is if you've gone too dark on the pencil part this actually lightens it up a little bit while still giving it a little bit of extra color and texture. And it makes it kind of like that clean but messy brow look, if that makes sense. And then you can kind of take the top and push the hairs over a little bit. So there's one brow done, and we'll do the other side the same way. So you take it and you kind of twist it or like roll it and go up. See my hairs are going up and go all the way down. The side's a little longer. I gotta trim those. Go to the arch. <clears throat> and then kind of drag it down. 
And then again, if you want to kind of push the hairs over on the top, you drag it over. Got a little bit more down here, so just kind of clean it up. Now I've never had a problem doing my foundation first and then my eyebrows. It always seems to work out just fine. And I always just accept the fact that one eyebrow is always a little bit different. <laughs> but so for the most part, this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna go off camera really quick and clean up and make them look a little bit more even and then I will be right back. Okay I'm back. So what I did is if you do have a clear you can make the one that's a little bit darker or whatever you can use that and manipulate your brows to kind of get them to look the same and then I also take a little spoolie and I just kind of brush and make sure that they're cleaned up and don't mind that right there that's a hair I need to pluck <laughs> um, but yeah so that's pretty much how I do my brows thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it if you have not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe you can easily subscribe to my channel when my face pops up down here at the bottom don't forget to check out my other videos on the sides and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss any of the videos that I put out next. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye!